start working on the TRS right now. Um, I don't have uh, any other place to do this other than my bed, so it's gonna have to do. All right, throw that away. Also, I assume this might get in the way as well, so. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna remove the strings first and then clean the neck and the body and then restring. Locking tutors, by the way. They are such a lifesaver, man. All right, so first things first, you use the cleaner and prep, right? Wait, no, you don't. This is for the fingerboard, see? <laughs> um, you use the polish and cleaner first, yes. Then the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Apparently you're supposed to not spray it on the guitar itself, but on the cloth. So yeah, I guess do that. I really don't see the reason as to why you couldn't spray it on the guitar itself, but I won't do this on the back of the guitar, by the way, because who cares about the back of the guitar? Okay, so that's the cleaner applied. So next up, I'm gonna use the wax. So just shake it up and that much should be fine. Now I usually just do this first, where I kind of apply little spots over the guitar. This is, makes it a bit easier to spread around, in my opinion, but I don't know. It doesn't really matter all that much, but yeah, now you just rub it in. All right, get a clean side of the cloth and just kind of repeat the whole thing. You've applied the wax, so now you're uh, just polishing it, really. It's good to have uh, good lighting, by the way, when you do this, so you can really see where you still need to work on it, where it looks kind of smudgy. I really do like the wax in the System 65 because it just works really nicely. Looks very, very, very nice. Very nice, muy bien. So, we're gonna use the fingerboard cleaner and prep. So, once again, clean side of the cloth and spray the cleaner and prep on the cloth. Two, three sprays should be fine. And just go at it. Now, the System 65 does also come with this, which is meant to be used on the frets. Um, if you have like scratches or they're really worn, this will sort of smooth them out. I don't think I really need to use it on any of my frets, but if I were to use this, this is basically what I would do. I would just take it and do that on the frets. You know, it's pretty self-explanatory, really. Now that we have the fretboard cleaned, we're gonna apply the fretboard deep conditioner. This is basically just the oil to keep your fretboard from drying out. So, so something like this should be good. Just go over it a couple times. We're gonna like work this in in a second. So don't like, you know, try to get it into the fret with this. Yeah, there we go. That's simple, get the cloth. Once again, get a clean side, and now we're gonna start working this in. Okay, so now that you have the oil in the fretboard, you're gonna use a cloth, once again, the clean side to kind of work it in. Now, the technique really doesn't matter all that much here, but the way I've always done it is, when I'm trying to work the product into the fretboard, I go this way, so diagonal to the fretboard, and then when I'm trying to get the excess off, afterwards, I go vertical. That's how I do it, but it really doesn't matter all that much. So <laughs> yeah, so just work it in like this. And after you've done that, get a clean side of the cloth and get the excess off this way. Now that you have done that, all we need to do at this point is restring the guitar. We are restrung, so next up we're gonna use the string conditioner. Go over each string like so get the excess off once again. So, there we go, that's the entire System 65 kit now applied on the guitar, and even though I say so myself, it looks pretty damn clean. Here's kind of like my verdict on these, I guess. Uh, are they like absolutely necessary? No, not really. <laughs> I mean, you can clean off your guitar just fine with, you know, a microfiber cloth and nothing else. But if you do want your guitar to look the best and play the best it can, these things are a very good purchase. They're a big help in maintaining your guitar. So yeah, in that case, I'd say these are absolutely worth it. There we go. I'm gonna plug this thing in and kind of just jam out. Yeah. 